Hello and welcome to my channel Malavika's Magic. Today I'll be sharing with you tips for writing research methodology. So let me take you to the roadmap of my presentation. So first I'll be dealing with the concept of research methodology. Second, I will differentiate between research design and research methodology. Third, I'll be explaining to you the different steps that is necessary for writing a research methodology. Fourth, I will talk about the importance. And fifth, I'll give you certain tips for writing the research methodology section. So let us begin with the first topic that is the concept of research methodology. Now, the research methodology is a way to systematically solve the research problem. As a researcher, we first tend to identify the research problem. Second, we write them the research questions. We frame the research questions. Third, we move on to making certain assumptions about what could be the solution to this particular problem. Now, we need to prove that assumptions. We need to measure those assumptions. We need to test those assumptions. And in order to do that, we come, come about with a systematically how we can solve the research problem. So that is our research methodology. So for this, we require the specific procedures or techniques that is used to identify, select, process, and analyze information about the topic. So a research methodology is an outline of how a given piece of research is carried out. Now, let us move on to the next topic that is, what is the difference between research design and research methodology? Now, I will start tell you that research design is a strategy for answering the research question. As a researcher, when we have identified the research problem, it is necessary that we have a plan of how we can solve the research problem. We have a plan of how to conduct the research or how to systematically go about with the research and solve the research problem. So this strategy or the plan is necessary for all researchers because without planning, it is difficult to implement any aspect of the research work. So once we have planned, we now need to implement. So the implementation of the strategy is called as the research methodology. Now let us move on to the next topic, that is the steps that is required in order to write research methodology. The first step that we need to follow is first identify the research problem, then frame the research question, and of course, underline our aim or the objectives of our study. Second step, we need to select the type of research on the basis of research question and aim, and the selection of the research topic or research could be based on whether it is an exploratory research or a descriptive research or an experimental research, or it is a correlational research. Now, this selection would also be, uh, depend on the time frame that is available to us for conducting the research. So that is very important to take into consideration. And the third step that we need to describe is our analysis method. So in our analysis method, we need to talk about whether we are we'll be going for a quantitative study. That is, we will try to prove um, our uh, uh, research uh, problem of using the statistical method or using the statistical tools. And uh, thus, we will quantify our uh, uh, data that we have collected or we will use a qualitative approach whereby we have one-to-one -one interaction with our subjects that we have selected for a study. And we tend to um, conduct interviews. It could be in the form of a structured interview or it could be a form of a questionnaire that we have designed. And we want our subjects you know, to complete the questionnaire. So based on that, we can conduct an analysis. Now this uh, describing analysis will also depend upon the type of research that we have selected. So for a descriptive research, you know, we could uh, select um, a structured into a qualitative approach. And for the exploratory research, we could also select the qualitative approach. Of course, the quantitative, uh, quantitative approach could also be selected. And for an experimental research, uh, it could be both a qualitative and a quantitative approach. It will all depend upon whether we want to select one quantitative approach or we can select qualitative or we can select the both the methods which is called as the mixed method approach having said this now let us move on to the fourth step uh, that is we need to evaluate and justify the methodological choices that we have made so this part is very important so we need to justify as to why we have selected for the quantitative approach uh, for this uh, type of research or why we have selected the qualitative approach for this type of research and accordingly we write this section 
So now let me give you a sample of a research methodology section that was written for a research paper. Now, the research paper, we know that a word limit is given to us. So therefore, we cannot elaborate on so many aspects. So we have to be very particular and be very specific when we write the research methodology section. But for a report, you know, we can elaborate on so many other things. For example, we can elaborate on a research design. We can elaborate on the method of data collection. We can talk about the materials that we have used. We can talk about the subjects and so on. And so here, you know, I have given you a sample from a research paper. So I have indicated at the beginning itself that I'll be talking about uh, the type of study. And I've spoken about the research design that is a plan of my work. And I've also spoken about the method of data collection. So having understood the concept of research methodology, let us now move on to the next aspect that is the importance of research methodology. In the importance, uh, we we'll talk about that research methodology is basically included in order to show how the research was conducted. It discusses the methods chosen, and it also indicates that the research was rigorously conducted and can be replicated. And it helps readers understand the process of conducting the research and the doubts of the readers can be clarified in this section. Now, let us move on to the tips you know, that one needs to, to follow while writing a research methodology section. So the first tip that I'll be giving you is uh, that we need to focus on our objectives and the research questions as a researcher, and of course, we need to cite relevant sources. So from these relevant sources, we get an idea of how to select the research, uh, uh, to select the type of research, and also uh, how to um, uh, de describe their analysis method, and of course, of how which um, analytical method will be appropriate for the type of research that we have selected. So uh, reading relevant sources and citing from relevant sources will definitely help us to get more ideas on how to go about with the research methodology. And the third is we write for the audience because the audience are the ones who should understand or the readers are the ones who should understand how to go under, uh, understand the process of conducting the research of how the research was conducted. And so they should be convinced that the research that was conducted was indeed a rigorous uh, research that was conducted. And moreover, um, uh, the solution that the researcher has come about with is a solution that is practically possible to implement and uh, they are convinced about the practicality of the research uh, solution. And so therefore we write for our audience. So having said this, I would like to thank all of you for a patient listening. I hope you had we have understood the concept of research methodology. In case of any doubts, you can always mention it in the comment section. I will definitely get back to you. Thank you once again.